Everyone who's interested in true crime knows about the Black Dahlia, but she was a real person. She was a person with a name. Her name was Elizabeth Short, and her friends called her Beth. The name Black Dahlia comes from a motion picture that came out the summer before Beth Short was killed called The Blue Dahlia. Someone said, oh Beth, you're like the Black Dahlia with those black clothes you wear and the flower in your hair, and that became her nickname. Elizabeth was born July 24th, 1924 in Massachusetts. She had four sisters, she was the middle child. The depression was really hard on her dad's business. He just was not able to make a go of it. He actually drove his car to a bridge and left it there and faked his own death. As soon as she was old enough to work, she went down to Miami. As she got a little older, she was missing her father and she became aware that he was not dead and in fact he was in California. So she reached out and asked to come and stay with him. Elizabeth's dad was really not a very nice man. They separated soon after. So after leaving her father, Elizabeth was about 18 years old, and she just proceeded to bounce around, not just California, but America. On one of her trips to Miami, she met this flyer named Matt Gordon. He was in a post-war airplane crash, and he was killed. His death seems to have really sent Beth Short on a terrible depressive spiral. And over my shoulder is the Hotel Brevoort, and this is one of the places where Beth Short stayed when she was dating a guy. They went their separate ways, and then that left Beth Short homeless again. At one point, she was living in Hollywood with a bunch of girls in an apartment. They all had bunk beds, and for the price of a dollar a night, you could stay in one of these. If you didn't have a dollar, you might have to get your luggage and sneak out through the fire escape, and that's what Beth Short did on at least one occasion. For a while, she was working at what's now Vandenberg Air Force Base. At the time, it was Camp Cook. In 1943, she went to Santa Barbara with a bunch of friends to a nightclub. She was sitting at a table with liquor, and they chose to bust her because she got arrested. There was a mugshot, and her fingerprints went on file. And that's how she was ultimately identified after she was murdered. In the aftermath of Beth Short's murder, it was a time of mass hysteria. There was a sense that around any corner, there could be a killer. This ends up being kind of a, a film noir drama that plays out on the front pages of the newspapers. Always remember that she was a human being. She's worth being remembered, not just as a crime victim. The Black Dahlia has captivated Hollywood for decades. Elizabeth's life and murder has been the topic of countless theories, best-selling novels, television shows, and movies. A 22-year-old found murdered in a vacant lot, her nude body hosed and bisected at the waist. That had to have been a skull surgeon. The Black Dahlia remains one of the biggest unsolved murders in American history until now. Steve says there's new evidence that no one has ever heard before. We recover soil samples, and they come back positive for human remains. New Dr. Phil, 